All right, guys, welcome back to week number four of door dashing every single week until I can buy a Tesla. Before you ask about the weird choice of background shot, I'm a weird kind of guy. So far, I'm pretty much at the exact pacing that I need to be to reach $50,000 by next March, making almost $1,000 every single week. Well, today is Wednesday in week number four, so let me catch you up to date. Now obviously last Sunday I made over $400, wow. so Monday and Tuesday I had to catch up on getting this video out to you guys. Not only am I door dashing 40 to 50 hours a week, I also edit these videos guys, this shit takes time. I made about $100 today, I went to the gym thanks to comments like this, so I'll roll the footage. Um, not this one, it's actually this one. Could you tell the difference? But that means we have about four days left this week to make $900. Um, so we're sort of in the same boat as we were last week, <laughs> but I'm pretty confident we can do it. So without further ado, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I did a little fib though, as while I was putting this video together, I got an Uber Eats order and made an extra $11.91. First hour and a half, doing pretty good. I'm at $28, just picked up this next order from Royal Walk. Let's get it. All right guys, first three hours done on Thursday. I'm at 61.25, but I am getting really hungry. It's lunchtime, so I'm gonna quickly run home and grab something to eat. And let me teach you an incredibly OP strategy. This is most applicable if you have a girlfriend, so if not, you know, you might wanna go ahead and get one, but basically, get you a woman that knows how to cook as it saves you an incredible amount of time. Shortly after taking my lunch break and editing the very video you're watching right now, I got sent an Uber Eats offer and I got up so fast that the ground outside shook. Holy shit. We can only hope this isn't tip bait. All right, let's get to the car. Once I got to the restaurant, I saw why the total payout was so high. The customer had ordered seven large pizzas, totaling over $100. I waited the order out and it took over 20 minutes at the restaurant for all the food to be prepared, but knowing the total was almost $30, I didn't really care and made sure to keep my customer updated about the wait time. All right, guys, we secured the bag. Let's go drop it off, the box. Actually, not the bag, the box. Once I get the order and drive nine miles to the customer's address, both Google Maps and Uber Eats took me to an open field. And so after contacting the customer, they told me the solution was I needed to use Apple Maps to find them. Oh my God. Shit guys, why didn't I think of that? I still delivered the order in a reasonable amount of time, actually being 10 minutes early, but Uber requires a pin to complete some orders and my customer did not know his pin. Is this a red flag? I, I don't do Uber Eats enough to know. But since I was unable to complete the delivery without the pin, I contacted support and after waiting nearly 15 minutes, I got an agent who put me on hold and ultimately just hung up. I, I don't have the pin. The customer couldn't give me their pin. So now I'm on... Whatever. So I called support back and did several DoorDash orders while I was waiting on the phone for Uber to get back to me and they were able to complete the delivery on my behalf. Uber Eats customers can change the tip after delivery and they have one hour after completion to do so. So now it was just the waiting game. Well guys, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Just like I kind of was worried about that order ended up tip baiting me, not only did they take away part of the tip, maybe five to $10, no, they completely changed their tip to zero, dropping the order from $27.57 to just over $7, which makes it not worth it really. The whole order took about an hour. Yeah, I mean, I had some choice words when it happened. <laughs> I was pretty mad, but there's nothing you can do about it. I was pretty bothered that somebody dropped their tip from $20 to zero for no wrongdoing on my part. Maybe it's because I didn't have an iPhone. I'm, I'm not sure, but unfortunately that's just part of the game. It's almost a month into this challenge and it's proven to be more difficult than I thought. Some weeks are just vastly better than others. And while I knew this coming in, some days really just felt like an uphill battle. I still made a decent amount on Thursday, making $219 and 42 cents. It really could have, it could have been $240, but you know what guys, I'll drop it. Guys, I can be a doofus sometimes. Doofus, does anyone say that? I accidentally muted my camera mic while recording, so I couldn't capture my beautifully uneventful morning. But on day 26, I went out earlier than normal at 8 a.m. and it was dead out, only making $18 in the first hour and a half. Guys, this is ass, okay? I'm just gonna go to the gym. I was gonna go at two o'clock, but I'm just gonna go now. This shift right now is slower than Joe Biden when he's trying to form a sentence. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the foot, him, uh, foot, foot, 
Excuse me. After going back out during lunchtime, it was still very slow and I started to look in the mirror. Was the reason I wasn't getting orders because it was slow out or was it because I was desperately trying to grow facial hair that will never stick? So I did what any man would and I shaved. Look 16 again. And once I started my shift again, I immediately got this Uber Eats order. Do I trust it? <laughs> I still had PTSD from my last Uber Eats order, so I waited anxiously after an hour, but I was clear and received the full tip. In order after order, I was moving like my life depended on it. I mean, it does, because without a Tesla, who am I? Remember what Daniel told me? I couldn't let Daniel down. And by the end of Friday, despite being out all day, I only made $229.50. Open sesame! Oh, okay, cool. Three hours into my shift on Saturday and I'm over $67, which is really good. But I think it's lunchtime. I'm gonna go to my favorite lunch spot. We're at Chipotle. Also, look who's beside me. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell there, but that is a Tesla. So again, we're just manifesting, but yeah, I'm gonna get in there, get some Chipotle, and today's gonna be a good day. But anyways, while I eat my Chipotle, let me tell you how much I am at for the entire week. So on DoorDash, I'm at $530.19. On Uber Eats, I'm at $98.12. So for the entire week, I'm at $628.31, which means for the rest of tonight and all of tomorrow, I need to make, what is that? $372, that sounds like quite a bit. You know, I think, I think it's doable. I think we can do it, boys. Overall, Saturday was a dub. It was a victory royal. Out, and even though I got a late start to the day, it would still be my best day of the week. And these two orders right here might be my last two of the night. This is a huge payout. I think it was $20 for 10 miles. I've noticed DoorDash doesn't hide as much of the tips anymore. I don't know if this is like everywhere. I think it's crazy they're actually showing me the full $20 there. This wasn't my last order of the day as right after this, I saw $3 peak pay and turned on the hourly pay mode as I knew I'd be stuck in any drive through at any restaurant I visit and I was. I'm on the earn by time right now and there's peak pay, so I really don't care. As long as I'm getting paid, and I'm getting paid $17 an hour, plus tips, I don't really care. <laughs> I waited so long in this drive through that I thought for sure my first social security check was gonna come in the mail before I got paid for this DoorDash order, but it didn't. And after completing this order, I made 1820. Real generous, guys. So I made $246.05 on Saturday. Good morning, everybody. Last day of the week. Thank freaking goodness. I'm at about $805 right now, which means today I just need to make about $195. We'll just call it 200, which should be a pretty easy feat. And now I don't mean feet. Come on guys, leave a like for that one. It's crazy to me that I've been able to break $1,000 every week so far, minus the week that I was sick, and I've already learned so much about time management on this journey that I'll have much more than just a Tesla by the end of this series. I'll have learned some skills that will stay with me for the rest of my life. I am just another $40 away from my goal, so hopefully I should only have to work another two hours. And in two hours, I made my goal and ended my shift with, drum roll please, $1,001.48. Real quick, before the outro, if you guys want to support the channel, I've opened up memberships on the channel starting at less than a no-tip DoorDash order. Totally optional, but there are some perks like seeing videos one day early, members-only posts, and some sick emotes. Yes, that's Tony's shoe. At $3,963.16 so far in the series, I could buy 3,705 hot dogs from Kroger. But I don't want 31,705 hot dogs. I want a Tesla. I'm officially $46,036.84 away from getting that test. I'm officially 8% there. That sounds a lot better. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Dash on.